It seems an awfully long time ago that Antonio Conte had guided Chelsea to the Premier League title, a near record 93 points, and an FA Cup final. All in response to the previous season, where they had dispensed of Jose Mourinho and finished 10th in the league, so it was some transformation under the Italian. However, the Blues lost that final to Arsenal, and things began to motor swiftly downhill from then on. Chelsea succumbed to 2 1 defeat to the Gunners thanks to goals from Alexis Sanchez and Aaron Ramsey, though Diego Costa briefly leveled things while Victor Moses was sent off. That ensured Conte kept his unwanted record of never winning a domestic cup, and Arsenal beat them again in the Community Shield in August, this time on penalties. Burnley shocked Stamford Bridge on the opening day of the Premier League season with a 3-2 win, although the hosts were reduced to nine men. Chelsea struggled through the Champions League to finish second and are completely out of the title race, sitting an enormous 22 points behind Manchester City ahead of tonight's game against West Brom. At in the toothless Carabao Cup semi-final loss to Conte's nemesis Arsenal and consecutive three-goal drubbings against Bournemouth and Watford, and it is no surprise to see the Italian under huge pressure. He has openly criticised the club's transfer policy, particularly Ross Barkley over the last month, while lamenting the failed signings of Alexandro and Sanchez amongst others. Roman Abramovich has had a habit of showing his managers the exit somewhat freely and prematurely at Chelsea, but Alan Shearer believes he may have a case for that this time around. Writing in his column for The Sun, Shearer believes the lack of patience Abramovich has shown his managers has actually worked for them in the past. He cites what he calls the bounce-back effect that a new man in charge can bring to a team, as demonstrated by Goose Hiddink and Avram Grant in the past, plus Conte last term. And consequently, he thinks that provides the Russian with enough ammo to relieve Conte of his duties. Unfortunately against all common sense it seems the Blues have been onto something for some time, the constant bounce back that a new manager gives them, he said. Perhaps that is what the modern player needs. There is no loyalty anymore to Badger manager. It has become a very selfish industry in that way. Too many are out for themselves rather than the collective good of the club. So the continuing need for change, a new voice, a new start, seems to be the answer for many clubs. Shearer definitely has a point. When Mourinho and Luis Felipe Scolari were sacked mid term by Abramovich, their replacements Grant and Hiddink guided them to cup finals. Grant took Chelsea to the Champions League final in 2008, where they were beaten on penalties by Manchester United while losing out to the same team in the Premier League on the final day of the season. Dutchman Hiddink was moments away from a repeat final in Europe against United a year later, until Andres Iniesta scored a beauty to send Barcelona through on away goals, though he did win the FA Cup with a 2-1 win against Everton. So the best way for Chelsea to go could be to part company with Conte. If he fails to bounce back against West Brom tonight, another manager could well be given that instruction sooner rather than later.